Lenny Sly, RoadWarriorTC.com. Welcome back to another video. Um, so this is the first video of the 2018 year that we're doing. The past videos that you saw, the last four or five or whatever it was, is all about Don testing and about Ron Dory and whatnot. Um, you guys, especially the guys on Facebook forums and whatnot from some of the comments from the Ron Dory videos, really interesting on, on your perspective on the way how things are done especially the way how we do things um, with the Ron Dory. It's, it's, I find it, kind of, find it kind of funny that I get a lot of these keyboard warriors, whether you have Aikido experience or not, that are very opinionated about the way how we do Ron Dory. And especially with some of the things that uh, they said about Renosa Sensei and how Renosa Sensei and Seagal Sensei have never taken you know, that type of Don test in their life. And you, know, you're, you could possibly be very right at that. I wouldn't know. I wasn't a part of that um, training back then. But it's interesting to say the least on how many of you think you know when you guys really don't know. Okay? And especially when it comes to the Ron Dory side. Um, you guys are very opinionated about the way how we do Ron Dory. Okay? You guys obviously don't know the lesson and you don't know. See, I'm a practitioner of this style of Aikido. I'm a practitioner of that style of Rondori. There's a huge difference between that Rondori and what most people do in the Aikikai. Now, mind you, I got 16 years experience doing traditional Aikido. 16. Not six weeks, not six months, not six days, not six hours. 16 years of experience. So I've walked that walk before. I'm walking the walk. I walk the walk that you still walk today. Now, I hump, I, I hop the fence hump. I hopped the fence over to the darker side of Aikido and started doing more of this Tenshin style of Aikido because I got tired of the bullshit with the traditional Aikido. I got tired of the bullshit attacks. And some of you guys want to comment on other videos and whatnot. Now remember, I'm just, you know, you guys know who you are. You know who I'm addressing right now. Um, and I know people are going to say, you know, don't give in to the naysayers. This isn't about giving in to the naysayers. This is to prove valid points about things. You know, the way how we punch, the way how we attack, um, especially with, you know, real Katadori and Mune Dori and stuff like that. Those are more commonly used in the real world than like you would like to think. Um, a lot more commonly used than traditional attacks on Aikido, especially Shomenuchi and Yokomenuchi attacks. That's why you don't see me do a lot of videos on those particular attacks with technique. Um, that's obviously going to change today because as you can see in the title, this is called Aikido the way that doesn't work Shihonage. So we're going to show you how Yokomenuchi Shihonage doesn't work from the traditional standpoint. So, and the reason why I've been, you guys have inspired me to do this, and part of the reason why I'm doing it is because I find it interesting and the opinions that I get from people that have no practical experience with what I'm doing, but want to be very opinionated about the way how we do things. If you've never stepped foot on this mat or any mat that teaches this style of Aikido, your opinion is about as about as worthless as a warm cup of dog piss as far as I'm concerned, okay? That's like me voicing my opinion to a firefighter and how to, and how to put out a house fire. If I've never done it, how is my opinion validated? It's an opinion. It's an opinion on what my thoughts are, but if I have no practice in doing that on a regular basis, how is that valid? It's not valid. It's an opinion. Like everyone says, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. Okay? It's just the asshole that's delivering the opinion. Okay? You guys don't really have, the sum of you, the majority of you that comment, you guys really don't have a valid opinion on how our Ron Dory is done and the lesson behind the Ron Dory because you've never done it. And I've, I've thrown this out a bunch of times about, come on by. Okay, come on by and train with us. It's not a challenge, it's not to kick your ass. I don't want to beat up anybody. Okay, it's to educate you on how we do things so you can see it. Watching it in a video is not the same thing as you actually being there live when it happens or you being on the mat when three guys are attacking you this way. Okay, I've heard comments where there's no Shomenuchi attacks, there's no, there's no this, there's no that in the Rondori. There's not supposed to be. Okay, because the truth behind that as well is in the real world, nobody's judo chopping you in the side of the head and no one's judo chopping you in the top of the head. Yokomenuchi and Shomenuchi attacks are complete bullshit. Okay, they're 100% bullshit and they're useless when it comes to the real world. Now, 
I have gone above and beyond with my generosity to put countless numbers of YouTube videos on this channel to show you guys the importance of evasions, of hand deflections, okay? And a lot of you have still failed to see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? And I'm not saying that my way is better than your way. My way is more practical than your way, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? I've been putting out these videos to try to help you guys, not try to hurt you. I'm trying to help you guys have more effective Aikido, okay? Stuff that works. Because the traditional stuff is the traditional stuff. It's just, it's a preservation of O-Sensei's Aikido. And Aikido sense, you know, uh, O-Sensei's Aikido is, is grossly outdated. And I know that a lot of you are gonna beg to differ with me on that, but the, the truth remains that it's, it hasn't evolved since the day that he died, April 26, 1969. The politics have evolved, the business side of it's evolved, but the training has not evolved. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are going, wait a minute, Aikido the way that doesn't work. Lenny made a video like that a couple of years ago. Yeah, I did, and it was based off of the politics and you know paying for um, affiliation dues to an organization and membership dues to an organization. And at the end of the day, what are you getting? You're getting watered down technique you know, about the love, peace, and harmony shit that's out there and, and you know, not hurting people and whatnot. You know, hey, if you want to be a victim of somebody um, inflicting violence and harm upon you, then, you know, go right ahead. That's, that's, that's your business. You know, as far as I'm concerned, you're an idiot if that's the case, if, if you're just going to let somebody hurt you out in the real world. You know, if you're practicing a martial art, yeah, there's a spiritual side of it, which I don't partake in, and most of you guys already know that. I am more on the martial side of things and how things work and how they can be applied to real world situations. Um, my training doesn't stop within the four walls of the dojo. Okay? I'm constantly evolving my training. I'm constantly evolving my students to where I prepare them for the street and the possibilities of the what if and yeah but, um, where the traditional guys don't do that. Okay? And I know that this is gonna piss off a lot of Aikido senseis out there. And you know, quite frankly, I really don't fucking care. Okay? And the reason why I don't care is because they don't care. Because if they did care, they would start looking into other forms of training and other methods of training. And I don't see that going on. Okay? And that's fine. You want to continue to do that, that's fine. Okay? But I'm not going to sit back and constantly make videos on stuff and have a bunch of people that want to sit there and criticize what I'm doing and tell me what I'm doing is wrong. Because in reality, okay, I'm gonna survive a street assault faster than you will any day of the week and twice on Sunday, okay? And I'm not talking about talking my way out of something. I'm talking about this is the last result. I have to, I've been pushed to, to defend myself. I'm gonna outlast any one of you guys, okay? And another thing, if you think that Aikido is the only thing that I know, okay, that's a whole nother video in itself. Okay, this is not the only thing that I've ever trained in, okay, I've cross trained in, that I know how to do. This is just the platform that I like to use because I love Aikido, okay, and I want to share with the Aikido community because it's, it's huge. So a lot of people that practice Aikido in the world, I think a lot of people are getting robbed by their senseis and the way how they're being taught things and the application on how things are actually being done. So, <clears throat> it goes back to Aikido the way that doesn't work. So I'm gonna turn this into a series, depending on the response I get from this video, where if it, if it goes as I think it's gonna go, I'm gonna start putting out videos hmm, once a month, twice a month, maybe every week on Aikido techniques that don't work. And we're gonna show you the traditional side. So for all you guys that want to be opinionated and that you want to criticize and give me flack for what I do, now I'm going to do what you do. So now you can criticize your own method on the way how you guys train. So wrap your head around that for a second. So when you criticize the way how I'm doing something, you're actually calling out your own shit. All right, so I got Bob Camp here today. Hi. So we're going to show you 
Yokomunichi Shionage, how it doesn't work. And I'm also going to be generous enough to show you how to escape from Shionage when applied to you. So first and foremost, traditionally, you have this big, wide Yokomunichi attack as you're following through. Bob does technique. Go ahead, finish. Takes me down, takes me out, let's go, whatever, or pins. Okay, again? So this big technique comes through, I keep moving, there it is. Right? Simple. Now, Yokomunuchi, knife hand strike to the side of the head. It's supposed to emulate a sword cut, right? Well, here's the interesting part about this. Holding a bulkhead or holding a sword, you would never have this big, dramatic, wide, telegraphed cut. This thing is going to be short. So look at where my hands are at. So if I'm holding the suka, for some of you that don't know Japanese terminology on a sword, the suka is the handle. So my hand with Yokomunuchi is not actually emulating the blade. It's emulating where the suka is at, where the handle's at. So I think a lot of that gets misconstrued as your hand is the blade. So then he moves. So you have this big Yoko Minucci movement. Your hand is the blade. You stay connected. Technique, right? Hey, again, again. Right? Hand is the blade. So it's this big movement. You know how many openings there are right there? Right? Big movement. Look at that. Big movement. Right? If he comes straight in. Big movement. What happens when I cut this down and I start emulating the sword with the suka and it's shorter? Right? Got it, technique. See? It's harder to do. Right? Harder to do. Even if he applies a tennis switch, okay. even if he gets his hand in my face, this is still hard to do. Do it. Do technique. Go ahead. Technique. Ooh, technique. 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 This is really difficult to do, okay? Opposed to traditionally, woo, woo. okay? Again, big traditional movement, right? Now cut down movement, proper attack. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the technique, right? I'm attacking honestly, right? So for all you be like, oh, he's going to take it honestly. I'm attacking honestly. Honest attack. Right? Again, see? Honest attack. Where is it? Bullshit attack. Wow, that works. That works. Doesn't work. Bullshit. Bullshit. Yokum Shionage is bullshit. Now, when you use the evasions, right? Teisabaki, Suryage Uganagashi, whatever, right? Now it changes. Even the shorter attack, now it changes. Can you get Shionage off of that? No. Nothing will get Shionage off of that. You got to transition into, some, transition into something else. Sankyo. Gets into Sankyo at this point, or Ikkyo, whatever. From there he has Ikkyo. Another bullshit technique. But this can transition into, right? Comes through, locks us up on the arm. Now he comes through with that, as this is all tight, and applies. Okay, at that point he would crank. We're not going to go to that position, right? Now at that point, he would just crank, and you're done, okay? A multi-version of this, only Udaki, here, oh, at that point, this is done slowly. He has the arm locked. Punch is here, but he dislocates this, and you fuck them up. So if he attacks me over here, please, he attacks, it's strong, super strong, real hard. Right? Boom! Right to the face. You're locking up right away. Down he goes. Pin. Okay? Opposed to trying to strong. Do this. Trying to do this. So again, harder, harder. It's going to be hard to do. 
Don't even move. So just attack right through. This is going to be hard to do. But why aren't you putting a tummy up into his face? Why isn't he blocking? Okay? Realistically, he attacks. Most people are going to get collapsed on. Strong, real strong. Harder, harder. Yoke him. See, I can stop him with this. Harder. Right? Harder. Right? Now it changes, though. But where's she, Honage? Possibly there. But you have to be able to get that. You have to get that fast. And if you don't understand how that works, cue for opinion. You're not gonna be able to do it. We practice this all day long. I can show you how this works. But the problem is, all of you guys will be opinionated about the way how I do it. And it's not my way is better, even though you're gonna say, well, you're pretty much pointing that out, Len. My way is just more practical. Does it equal better? The results are probably better. What I'm trying to show you guys right now is how your traditional Yokomichi Shionage doesn't work because the attack is unrealistic. It's just not realistic. <clears throat> the emote side of this hype, of this idea of striking, okay, even if it's switch so one, even if even if being strong, you're coming in striking and moving right into this lock. Okay? You have to move quickly. Because if this isn't done quickly, this is collapsing. Most of you are going to get collapsed. Okay? And if you think that you're not, come on by. I'll be happy to show you this. When you attack seriously and you have a strong attack and not this big Aikido bullshit attack that you see in a lot of dojos, it's only good for demonstration. Okay, when you're doing a public demonstration, you can wow the crowd. You know what I'm saying? But realistically, that's not real. So when it comes in strong and hard, it's not this big movement. It's cutting you down. So when that happens, and it's strong and hard, this is going to collapse you. Unless you can deflect into something else. In the technique. It changes, you know, or here to where you can move, right? Now you have sun kill. Now you have that shikonage version. But this version does not work. No matter how good you are at this, he pulls this down. No one's going to let you do this, okay? I can go into another 20 minutes on this, but I think I've proved enough points here. But the one thing I'm going to show you next is how to escape. For when you do traditional Yokum Nishishi Onage, and you don't want to take the Ukemi, and you want to prove that it doesn't work, here's the technique that does that. So I'm going to attack him with traditional. Okay, He follows through fast transition. Boom. Can't do it. Did I go too fast or do I need to slow down? Because I just walk through it. So I'll walk through it even slower. Right? Here's the movement. Here's the throw. So no matter how tight, get that tight. Get, apply the shield now, get a little quicker. So right there, boom, pushes through. It's still there. Because when you see people do this, okay, here, they go to apply this, and then their elbow comes up, because that's how you should be doing it, okay? Any one of us can stop this, okay? Any one of us. Bob can try his ass off to do this, and I can stop him from raising my elbow. All I gotta do is pull my elbow down. Even if he tries to get my arm, right? Even if he tries to do this, okay? Pull tighter. No, no, tight, circle tighter. Even if he tries to do this, all I got to do is drop my elbow, and it's still there. He goes and cranks on that. That's fine, but because I'm taking out his lead leg, that's what I'm doing with this, okay? 
So he comes through. I'm taking up his knee. Let's uh, so you guys can see this a little better. Okay. Comes through here. Right in this spot. Turn, turn, turn. He goes to do that. This is going to be fucking difficult. Sorry, guys. You got to find a right good can. You got to move right. so you can see this. Boom. Right through. I take out his lead with, him, with my leg that is back. Because I'm not going to be forward this way and doing this. That's how it works. But the second you move this leg back, that kills the Okamanuchi Shihonage application. Destroys it. Can't do it. No matter how fast you turn with this movement, no matter how fast you go through with this, if that leg is forward, okay, so put that leg forward, this one. So once, once I turn, he pivots. As he pivots, okay, he pivots, pivot, pivot. Or however it was, sorry. As he pivots, this leg is going to take out this leg. He takes out this leg. That kills this right away. Kills the Shionage. Doesn't work. Okay. So we showed that to you pretty slow. Okay. But this is to show you how Shionage doesn't work. Okay. The emote side of this with Oni Kudaki. This strike and then this application is different. That's not like Kudaki. Okay. Coming up underneath with this and applying it right away, he's cinching in. It's cranking on my elbow, it's cranking on my shoulder. If I turn, possible break fall or a leg sweep on my end, or on his end taking me out. Okay? But you have to first be able to stop this right away. Then this is going to go underneath and it's going to grab this real quickly and it's going to crank on it. And then you're down. It's over. So all of this movement, traditionally, is a waste of movement. It's a waste because I can stop that real quickly. And so can you. And guess what? It works off of katate dori too. So katate dori, same thing. Comes through, oh, oh shit, look, it worked again. And it also works off of shomenuchi, works off of real kata dori, Works off of katadori, works off of koshi, uh, kosadori, ryote dori. So, all in all, the assessment, Yokomunuchi Shionage, for all you guys out there that already think that Aikido is bullshit, that's one for you guys, zero for us. Yokomunuchi Shionage doesn't work, it's bullshit. So, for all you guys out there that like what I do, that agree with what I do, hit a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed because this might be a series of videos that might blow away every other series that I've already done. There might be a lot of these techniques coming up in the near future. And for all of you guys that uh, are traditional Aikido people, maybe you should be going and I'll be making videos on it. Why? Because I love being in front of the camera. I don't have a problem making a video. And you guys probably don't like that, but if you think your stuff works and you think you have a way on how you can make Shihonage work, then get your fat ass up off the couch, put on your size 10 gi, your equator size hakama, and make a video and show us, okay? But my guess is, and historically, nobody will do it. No one's gonna get up and make a video. Because I got nothing to prove. My shit is so good that it's deadly. Yeah, it's a deadly joke. That's what it is. Okay? Aikido needs to change, and it needs to change now. Time to get rid of the shit that doesn't work. Okay? In theory, there's 10,000 Aikido techniques, right? Probably about 100 of them actually do work, 150, and that's not including basics. And um, I'm going to expose a lot of them, okay? And it's probably going to cause a lot of butt hurt. Oh, well, it's too bad, you know? Like I said, I've been very generous over the past year and four months with what I've been showing, 
And yeah, I've had a lot of people love what I do. And you guys, I respect the hell out of you. I appreciate the support. And I think you guys are awesome. Even the people that leave great comments, I think it's awesome. Even the guys that have, have comments that, you know, really, I think are bullshit, I'll still read them. And I, half time, I leave them on, I leave them on the comment section, okay? If you start talking about stupid shit and start making stupid comments, I'm gonna delete it. If it has no relevance to what we're doing, there's no point in it being on the thread, okay? Constructive criticism is good. I have no problem with that. But if you're gonna sit there and critique me with what I'm doing, especially with something that you've never done before, you have zero experience before, maybe instead of you jumping the gun and watching the video and then throwing a comment up, maybe you should watch the video five or six times. Get the idea and the lesson behind it first, okay? Keep an open mind to what's been going on here, okay? Because mind you, remember, I'll reiterate, I have 16 years in traditional Aikido experience, so guess what? I could actually have an opinion about the way how you guys do things because I have 16 years of experience doing what you did. I just chose to move on to something bigger and better in my opinion. But from what I learned and from, from what I do, I wanna share all of this with you because I know there's a lot of Aikido Sensei out there that refuse to share. And if you try to address that with your Aikido Sensei, it's probably not gonna go over well for you because I've had countless numbers of people comments and countless numbers of people message me saying, I've been thinking this for years. I can't even say this to my sensei because he'll get pissed off or he won't talk to me anymore. Or I just don't say, say anything because I know what the response is going to be. Zero. That's what the response is going to be. Okay. I'm all for the spiritual side of Aikido for you people that want to do that. That's great. Have at it. That's for you to make yourself better. Fantastic, I'm all for it. I just choose not to. I'm looking at the martial side of techniques. I'm looking at how this works, why it works, the yeah, but, the what if principles. That's what I'm doing, okay? And there's gonna be a lot of other stuff that's gonna be coming to this channel that's gonna be more on the physical fitness side of Aikido, okay? And you're gonna see, you're gonna see a lot of other stuff to improve attacks, to have more honest attacks, okay? You're not going to see a lot of Shihonage techniques from me from the capacity of a Shomenuchi or a Yokomenuchi strike. That's just not realistic by no means. And I think I pretty much proved that on this video. So with that being said, that's it. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit a thumbs down. Leave a comment down below if you choose to. Subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notification of all of our new videos. Check us out on RoadWarriorsTC.com. Have a great week, great weekend. Hope you liked the video. Thanks, Bob. Hey, see you next time on Aikido, the way that doesn't work. Later.